Good day, my dear students. This is uh, Teacher Jules saying, kung gusto mong umangat, magmat. This video lesson is intended to assist learners in applying the important key concepts or principles in solving problems involving arithmetic and geometric sequences. The focus of this learning uh, material or uh, learning video is on the application of the knowledge, skills, and values learned to perform such mathematical tasks. So, okay, so before we start our uh, solving problem involving arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence, let us try to recall first the definition of the arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence is a sequence where each item after the first is obtained by adding the same constant called the common difference. So we have the uh, following formulas, a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. We know that a sub n is your last term, okay? And we have the a sub 1 is your first term. And n will be the number of terms. And d is the common difference. We have also the formula for finding the sum of the arithmetic sequence, which is called, of course, arithmetic series. We have here s sub n is equal to n over 2 times the quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. Okay, so itry po natin yung unang problem, applying the arithmetic sequence in real-life situation. So yung problem natin na ito, your school will be celebrating the intramurals soon. You are chosen to be the representative of your section. You begin training by running 8 miles during the first week, 10 miles during the second week, and 12 miles on the third week. If the pattern continues, how far will you run on the 10th week? So clearly, this is an example of an arithmetic sequence because you have a common difference of 2. So you are given 8, 10, 12, and so on. Okay, so ang common difference mo dito ay 2. Okay, now our problem is how far will you run on the 10th week? Okay, kung uh, gano'n ba kalayo pagdating ng uh, uh, week 10. So, in this case, actually, you can uh, use the listing method because it is just uh, 10 weeks. Okay, so 8, 10, 12, ang susunod mo dyan will be 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. And so on. Titingnan natin. No? This is a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5, a sub 6, a sub 7, a sub 8, a sub 9, a sub 10. So, our problem or our answer is 26. In other words, uh, you are going to run 26 miles after the 10th week. Okay? So, yun yun. But, we can apply the formula. Okay? Paano po ba yon? So, you are given a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. From the, uh, from the problem, we know that the first term is 8. The common difference is 2. And the number of terms is 10. Uh, because we are asked to find uh, uh, the, the distance traveled for 10th week. Okay, so that's why we have n equals 10. We are asked to find the last number or a sub 10. So you are given a sub 10 is equal to 8 plus 10 minus 1 times the common difference, which is 2. And this will be equivalent to 8 plus, you know, this is 9 times 2. So you are given a sub 10 equals 8 plus 18. And 8 plus 18 is equivalent to 26. So the 10th term is 
26. That is the final answer. Let us try another problem. In preparation for your school cheer dance competition, you and your classmates decided to hire a trainer. The trainer will receive 525 for 1 hour, 850 for 2 hours, and 1,175 for 3 hours. What is the common difference of the given rates? Okay, so to find the common difference, Actually, you are just going to subtract the second term by the first term or the third term by the second term. So, ititingnan natin. So, you are given 850 is the second term. I-minus mo lang sa 525, which is the first term. So, we are given 5. Ito magiging 4. So, you are given 4 minus 2 is 2. Uh, 8 minus 5 is 3. So, 325 is the answer here or the difference. But we need to check if that is uh, the common difference kasi dapat parehas ang difference ng third term at ng, uh, I mean, third term minus the second term doon sa second term minus the first term. So in other words, we need to, uh, to subtract 1,175 by 850 pa din. So you are given 5, 7 minus 5 is 2, so 11 minus uh, 8 is 3. So if you notice, they are just equal. So in other words, the common difference uh, of the given uh, rates is 325 pesos. So this is your final answer. Okay. Now, let us try to consider the geometric sequence. The definition for this is, the geometric sequence is a sequence where each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant, which is called the common ratio. Okay? So, common ratio. Uh, ang pagkakaiba ng dalawa po, ano, yung arithmetic sequence, ang involved po doon is addition o kaya subtraction. But in geometric sequence, ang involved pong operation dito ay multiplication and division. Alright? So we have the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. And alam na natin ang a sub n is the last term. Ang a sub 1 is the first term. And yung r dito, ang tawag natin dyan ay common ratio. Okay. And of course, yung n dito is the number of terms. Yan. Okay? So let us try to have an example. Okay, so let us try to have a problem applying geometric sequence in real life situation. So we have here the problem. Angelo and his employer agreed that he will be given an annual extra Christmas bonus according to the following scheme. 1 peso on the first year, 2 pesos on the second year, 4 pesos on the third year, 8 pesos on the fourth year, and so on. How much extra bonus would Angelo received in 15th year? So clearly, this is an example of geometric sequence because of this pattern. You are given 1, 2, 4, 8, and so on. So the second term is obtained by multiplying the first term by 2. Uh, the third term uh, is obtained by multiplying the second term by 2, and so on. So clearly, the common ratio is 2. The first term is 1. And the number of terms is 15 because we are asked to find the amount after 15 year. Okay? After the after 15th year. So, yon. So, what the formula to be used is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. I-substitute lang natin itong mga values na ito sa formula. So, we have a sub 15 equals 1 times 2 raised to 15 minus 1. So, you are given a sub 15 
is equal to 2 raised to 14 because 15 minus 1 is 14. And then after that, you need to get the value of 2 raised to 14. Alam na natin na ang 2 raised to 14 means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 uh, using 2 uh, as a factor 14 times. Okay? So you are given uh, a sub 15. Okay na po ang mag-multiply niyan. But the result is 16,384. So this is now the amount. Okay? Uh, Angelo will receive after 15th year. So this is the final answer. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned something from this video. Ang sabi nga ni Teacher Jules, kung gusto mong umangat, magmat. Bye-bye!